Can we get Sam in here? I want to do the carry thing from Damn. from Larry King before we move on uh, to today's new material because yeah. this thing is oh, great. Oh, running down the hall. Hold on, look at his feet. And this this audio has legs, and we had it yesterday, but we just never got to because we were so busy. So we should play yes. it today. I watched it last night. Holy shit! I don't know how to dude. say her last name. Uh, pre 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 Jean. Pre Jean. Cunt. Cunt. <laughs> Cunt's probably accurate. Pre Jean. Pre Jean. Pre Jean. What's yeah. the backstory on Carrie Pre Jean? Well, she was in the pageant miss usa miss america whatever it was yeah, she and it, so. i believe she was the one who perez hilton asked how she felt on gay marriage uh, right and she then, answered honestly and said she yeah. wasn't uh, she didn't like it, it wasn't, she wasn't her for it wasn't her thing and then she was hung out to dry yeah um, for saying that which by is perez ridiculous hilton. in and america then, where you should have uh, an yeah. opinion on things and then more recently there were reports of a solo sex tape that she may have made for a boyfriend when she was 17. Oh, and where is this available? I do not believe no it's available it. because she's underage. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and... You know, you could have sex at 17, but you cannot um, take pictures at 17. You're Isn't that amazing? Crazy. And, yes, and uh, you cannot show <laughs> someone that's 17 any type of uh, nudity or pornography uh, photograph, but, again... Some iced tea and cookies. <laughs> nope. All right. So what do we got on her? So so then she supposedly there might be a, a sex tape of her pleasuring herself. Right. And so she's like she's got all these court cases. I think at one point she sued the pageant and then they settled. Uh, oh. And uh, she there's a court case about the sex tape. So Larry King had her on the show. Right. Uh, I'm sure he asked just some hard hitting questions because she wrote a book yeah. and she's promoting the book, but she wouldn't answer any questions about anything that anybody cares about because she said everything. She just credited everything to being uh, in litigation. So she couldn't talk about that. She couldn't talk about this. And Larry King ended up getting really annoyed at her. Well, he didn't start off being... He started off with a reasonable question. <laughs> yes. He's like, well, I'm not asking you what you settled for. I think he probably just said, was told she won't talk about the settlement. So we, he must have known that before. Did we get the old Larry King? Because Larry used to be a really good interviewer. Well, he wasn't... It's hard to say because the question he asked... Yeah. It, yeah. it was probably one that anybody would have asked. Like, well, he said, what, Do you what? like stew? <laughs> that was actually it, but she couldn't talk about it. As, as she's in litigation with Dinty Moore. <laughs> because she, she alleged that what's in her underpants looks like Dinty Moore stew. Uh, yeah, he asked her, what, you, what, what motivated you to settle? And she said, I can't talk about that. Let's listen to this shit. All right. And uh, so it got a little ugly, too, there, huh? Yes, it was very awkward. How hateable is she in this? I, oh, mean, I was totally she, loving really? everything. She, she came she, off as She hateable. is just shit. Yes. Uh, let's get to an embarrassing part for you and how you handle it. You recently confirmed that when you were 17, you made what you call a private video, a sexual type tape that you sent to your boyfriend. Have you seen the video? Um, you know, I don't think that's the important issue, Larry. I think that, um, you know, there's a video out there of me that I sent to my boyfriend at the time. Um, and it was, it was for private use, but does that justify my actions? No. And I take complete responsibility for the decisions that I made when I was a teenager. But I think that the biggest thing is that you own up to it, you take responsibility, and you just move forward. Did you own up to it? Did you let the, the Miss California or the Miss USA pageant know about that video? Um, you know, I, I think that people need to be reminded that I was not fired for any video, for any photos. Um, I was fired for, I guess, supposed uh, contract violations, not making appearances, and um, I guess being hard to work with. <laughs> uh, uh, nervous titter. Did she not titter. seem like an absolute cunt? Oh, yeah. She wouldn't answer the question. It's like, did you see it or not? Right. Don't tell him what's yeah. appropriate. You were doing an interview. Right. Answer the question. And then she wouldn't answer whether she showed the no. pageant people or not. No. So that's two questions asked. And zero answers. Yeah, she stinks, yeah. this bitch. Yeah, let's keep track of how many questions she doesn't answer. Yes. Yeah, but the question <laughs> was, did you inform them? Because they have a morals clause in their contract. Right, but I was you, not. But, I, was I mean, not did you ever tell for, them about the tape? I, I was not fired for a morals clause, Larry. Um, if you look back, you will see that they fired me solely for contract violations for missing appearances. Oh. So this has absolutely nothing to do with why I was fired. But people would like to accuse me of that. <laughs> Uh -huh. Wow, she did. No, she didn't that answer. Is, that is any fucking uh, interrogator will tell you that is a uh, sure sign that someone's fucking like being deceptive or just not or uncomfortable and doesn't want to yeah, go any further. Exactly that. Uh, uh -huh. Three questions, none answered. By the way, would you yeah. like, would you like to play poker against her aunt? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. She's, uh, wow, she's raising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I call. Dummy. What adult. All right. Fuck her and her shitter. <laughs> One other thing, thing by the way, do you plan any legal action to block the video from being made public? Because you were underage when it was made. Oh. You know, everything that was discussed, Larry, in mediation is completely confidential. <laughs> and it seems as though I'm the only one uh, holding up to that contract. So um, if that's the case, then, then I will stand by that contract and abide by it. Answer me. Uh, did you get a settlement, though? Uh, that's completely confidential. There was a confidential mediation, and, and I don't think that needs to be discussed right now. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. We'll be right back. Answered immediately. Wow, Larry sounds so she hasn't very answered one, annoyed. What, what's yeah. the use of having her there? She hasn't answered one question. What are you doing an interview for? She wrote a book about herself. Gives a fuck about her, yeah, her gives life. Gives a flying fuck. But she won't talk about anything interesting about herself. <laughs> Please tell me this ends with Larry just going, get out. Please go Leave. get out. Live Life. right now. Live. Live. <laughs> Live. 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 <laughs> you sued the, the pageant after they fired you. They countersued. And then you accused them of a number of things, including religious discrimination. Clearly an issue very important to you. Why did you settle? You don't have to tell me the terms of the settlement, but you know why what, settle Larry? since you had a fight to carry on? Larry, everything that was discussed in mediation, I'll say it again, is completely confidential. Uh, I'm not, not going to be able to talk about that. So I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. She is. See, oh. you, you can't even say why you settled? <laughs> yeah. That's not. Well, how does that break what you settled for? I'm not asking you what the settlement it's a was. Confidential I'm asking agreement. you why did you agree to it's, settle? It's a confidential agreement, and I am not allowed to talk about no, that. No, you can, you dumb fuck. What motive? So the agreement you? discusses the motive behind why each party agreed? Larry, you're being inappropriate. You really are. Uh, so, I'm what? not going to talk about... I'm asking a question. God bless Larry. I'm just asking a question, you cunt. His what? face was great. He goes, he goes, what? Like, yes. He just has this being inappropriate. Like She's an idiot because he's asking her what her her mental like like in her mind why did she settle if, if it's a, such an important issue to her why not play it out in court and and uh instead of settling uh get your point out there and whatever uh you don't have to tell what the settlement is or anything and then just say well i believed that I would have been uh, in litigation for a long time or something. Just anything. She can talk about that. She could say, look, I just wanted it to be over. Yeah, yeah. But then again, the motivation might have been my case was not that strong <laughs> and they threw a lot of money at me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But that exactly. sounds like a great motivation. <laughs> Let's go to Larry King, uh, an exclusive for our show. Oh. Larry. Mr. Kumia. Yes. How are you today? Hello. Good. How deep into your rectum did you settle for the dildo? <laughs> she, I don't think there's any dildo in her uh, rectum uh, video. Larry. I don't know what that video is. We got is. the real Larry King right Larry's here. Larry. Like, yeah. Yes, when you made the sex tape, how did you get the reel developed? <laughs> <laughs> the reel. <Yeah. laughs> or is this the real Larry King? I'm not sure now. Larry. When you made the sex tape, what did you do with the groceries? <laughs> That's the real Larry, okay. Oh, there, Larry. We figured it out. He is pretty. You Good are the shot. real Larry. She is hot. Wow. Uh, you know something? I'm kind of thinking uh, I'm seeing know, her uh, side a little more now. <laughs> no, Larry. I'm kind of seeing her side. Larry's being Whoa, inappropriate. Not hot when she fucking turns her head, though. She's being, Larry's being inappropriate. Oh, she you really thinks so? She is fucking, I really hope she just falls face first on a lawnmower. She stinks. <laughs> Yeah, let's continue uh, with this. Really are. So I'm what? not going to talk about. I'm asking a question. I'm not, not going to talk about anything that was discussed in, in mediation. It's completely confidential. And it was a confidential settlement. All I'm asking. So, all right. So what you're saying is in mediation, it was discussed. Why are you were mediating? <laughs> Larry, it's completely it confidential. And you're being inappropriate. Okay. Inappropriate. Uh, okay. So All right. Being, inappropriate, inappropriate King Live continues. <laughs> God bless you, Larry. Wow, Larry actually Fucking has Larry woke wit. up. Yeah, but you're right. He should have thrown her out. He should have said, you know what? This is gonna. Nobody wants to hear about what it's like to be pretty. Get off my show. <laughs> you know how how much people would have loved Larry if he said, "Get I, off my yeah. show." Yeah, I, I don't know why they have to follow like some kind of ethics or something. Why 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 can't Larry just go? Why are you here yeah. then? Then why? Or at are least you say here? that. Why are you here? Why are you here?
You do know I'm Larry King, and I do interviews, don't you? <laughs> you realize the world is watching me right now. Why are you here? What do you want to talk about then? <laughs> right. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. You Anything fucking like do that. the show. Would have been classic. Yeah. I, I guess he I don't know to... how this ends because I didn't see it. What so I'm hoping there's to... a good ending. He had nothing to go to. Talk about her book. What book? But what's in her book? Maybe growing up and being in the pageant world. Oh, and... boring. Shut the fuck boring. up. Who cares? <laughs> well, we don't know. Boring. Who gives a shit? I, I just start yelling at Sam. <laughs> Shut up, <I> Sam. <laughs> like Sam's writing about his pageant life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when he was a fucking a twink in fucking chicken hawk videos. <laughs> <laughs> How important are the answers to an interview? That's Larry yes. King checking in from L.A. Two-sided conversation. How important? <laughs> right. I'd rather interview a chunk of garlic sitting in the chair. <laughs> How important is give and take? <laughs> Larry takes a phone call. Carrie takes off her mic. Correct. Nice. Oh. Detroit, hello. Hi, I'm calling from Detroit. Yes. Um, I'm a gay man, and I love pageants. Um, I'm sure that you, Carrie, have got, you know, great gay friends that helped you possibly win. What would you give them as advice if they wanted to get married? Did you hear the question, Carrie? What? What, is she eating chips? <laughs> that's, that's her tearing her microphone off? Correct. What was wrong with that question? Well, this, oh, I hate this. I bitch. think she had made the decision before the question was actually heard that she was done. Whatever fucking pukey publicist or handler she had. We find out later yeah. she had another rule. She couldn't talk about anything in litigation. I was one of those rule interviews. And she didn't want to take phone calls. But Larry King is known so for going to the phone. Like, okay. that's his thing is like, you're on the air. Larry realized that he couldn't get any questions out, so he went to a phone to try to salvage something. But of course. she also would not take calls. Oh, that's classic. All right, oh, we got fucking hateable. Oh. We got Sharon Osbourne checking in. Sharon! Uh -oh. Good morning, boy. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. <laughs> this, this dear, bless her heart, was blessed with the ability to take it elbow deep. And beaten with the annoying stick. <laughs> <laughs> An annoying <laughs> stick. Uh, Sharon? Sharon? Oh, no. She's, she's she out. didn't apologize, though. Oh, yeah. You got to apologize. Wow. You got to apologize. Well, Sharon Osborne's calling. Make sure you Terrible. end your call with the apology. <laughs> so far, Sharon Osborne has called with the frumpy stick and the annoying <laughs> stick today. Uh, Anthony, you're not going to believe this. Oh, yes. Larry King on line Whoa. three. Larry! No way. Good morning. Good morning, Larry. I'm wondering. I will the next sex tape be a talkie. <laughs> a talkie. <laughs> that they ever even called him that is funny. <laughs> a talkie. I remember before talkies. I want to say it every day, so I will say it right now. Funniest listeners in radio. Yes. That statement will be said every day. Here we go. Let's get back to her eating chips or taking her mic off. I can't tell. Did you hear the question, Carrie? <laughs> Did she hear the question? <laughs> Is she leaving? Was I asked what motivated the settlement? Excuse me? Oh. Couldn't hear the question. Did you hear the question? No, I can't hear you. You took the mic off. If you put the mic on, we can hear you. Yeah, I think that you are being extremely inappropriate right now, and I'm about to leave your show. So, uh. Well, so I went to another area. I took a phone call. They asked a question of you. I left that subject. You feel it was inappropriate? I didn't mean to be inappropriate. I just thought it was a logical question. But you need to have a mic. <laughs> who are you talking to? Is the microphone. Wait, who is she talking to? Probably some publicist. Shit, publicist or lawyer. Where's the microphone? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Hello? We'll be back right after these messages on Larry King Live. <laughs> this is great stuff, man. Best, best Larry really, King this ever. This is great. This. The world is watching. The CNN is uh, everywhere. And the whole time, it was just like a long shot of the room that Carrie was in. And she was just look, talking to someone off camera. Right. And Larry King's just going, That's fantastic. who are you talking to? <laughs> Hello? Who are you talking to? Put the microphone on. Uh, this TV show is just crumbling around. What happened when they came back? We, I we got that. Oh, okay. I didn't oh, see yeah. that. No, we got yeah. one more clip to go. Larry's got something to say, I bet. God, can you imagine? I mean, 
I have this desire to be a little more mainstream at times, but <laughs> if this broad is on our show and, and pulls this shit, no. oh, she bomb. Oh, she's my getting, God. Can you imagine getting, how we would handle that? She's getting poker chips thrown is at there her. Any, Linger rape. Is there, anything in your soul, <laughs> is there anything in your soul that would hold you back? Like, I'm, I'm amazed even a, a Larry King could hold back at that point. <laughs> yes. And still try to keep it, you know, above the table and professional. I'm amazed by that. You, you, you think he was he still had, cuddling, uh, coddling her? He probably had nothing else to do on his show. He was being sarcastic to her. You think? Yes, you could. You could definitely tell he was like, "Well, put the mic on. I can't hear you. Yeah. Who, who are you talking to?" Like it wasn't. That wasn't the doddering old man, Larry King. That was the hey, it's my fucking show. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything inappropriately. I went to a phone call to change the subject, and you left. But this was the last segment of the show. Yeah. So he didn't have, like, he couldn't extend another guest stay. Uh, like, if she gotcha. left the show. He had nothing. He's got to fill ten minutes. I got just, nothing. You well, just guys, go to the callers and banter. Yeah. I would just bash her for the rest of the fucking show. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? You're not going to believe this. Oh, what? Larry King's church. That's oh, great. No, Larry. Larry. I know he's a listener. Wow. Larry King. Larry? Yeah. <laughs> What's right. up, Larry? Jesus. <laughs> what we learned here tonight was that at 17 you were taking pictures of Bank Shove in your cunt, and now tonight you're being a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> God, Larry. <laughs> Larry. Uh, he's crazy. Yeah, he's quite the card. He I'd... sure is. He loves throwing a C bomb around every <laughs> once in a while. Here's the final Larry K King uh, clip. Now we're back with Carrie Prejean. I did not certainly mean to ask you a question. I don't, you don't want to take phone calls, right? Yeah, that was the agreement that you had with my publicist. Oh. So. No, uh, no one told me. I didn't, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know we weren't supposed to take phone calls. Yeah. And this I meant nothing wrong with the question. Larry. I was just this asking is, motive. Oh. Right, and this is you and I talking. Okay, and I all appreciate right. appreciate that. So. Ah. Okay. Now what are you going to do out. next? Oh my gosh, I am just so excited to um, ah! be, you know, promoting this book. Oh, I'm just I'm so excited down. to be an author now. It's, you let us down, it's, it's really great that, you know, I'm 22 years old and oh, Larry, I think that I have Larry, accomplished so Larry, much. Larry, Larry. What are you doing letting her plug her fucking book, uh, Larry? Larry? Jesse held the book up. What are you letting a plug for? What are you, you doing next? Larry. I can't talk about what I'm doing <laughs> next. Uh, I can't talk oh, about anything. Larry. What is wrong with him? He, that fucking public. He allowed some publicist oh, to dictate Larry. what he does on Larry King. I know. What that an was, asshole! Now Booter. he came off as a weakling right there. Oh, he yeah, should have he should have coaxed her back like they did back to the table <laughs> with the mic back on. We're back with Larry King live. Hey, Carrie. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I just wanted to bring you back to throw you off my yes, show. You're not walking off my show. I'm, I'm throwing, throwing you off. out. <laughs> Get out. Now, every phone caller, just bash her. He apologized. What a pussy. What's your Twitter? We'll give it out to all the people so they can bash you. <laughs> oh, that was fun until that last clip. Yeah. Come on, what Larry. A fucking worm. Larry! <laughs> you push it out, Larry. Larry we'll fit. Find we'll your fit. courage dead in the hallway, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> your mother, Larry. <laughs> oh, Larry. Oh, what a fucking. What a. Oh, what, what a. What a. Cuckold. She's a cunt. Yeah, and he, he was an interview cuckold right there. We're, we're part of a dumb I'm so excited. World. I'm an author. Shut well, your fucking face. I'm point so it gives excited a shit. about promoting this book. Are you? Why? Because you can't fucking talk about anything? How exciting is that? What's in it? Obviously, you can't talk about anything. How great would that have been if you slammed her? Yeah, it's the only thing that made her newsworthy sure. was that, that scandal. Just, yes. And there, she doesn't talk word one about it. She has a book that no one gives a fuck about. That might as well be more than the fucking catch. <laughs> yeah. M more than uh, the fucking more than nice the ass. Catch. More than the sweet tits and ass. Brian the trucker. Brian. Brian. Good morning. Good morning, Brian. Hey, uh, she's just being childish. Uh, there's a point where she takes her mic off, and Larry's talking to her, and she says, I can't hear you. No, I can't hear you. Well, how does she answer him if she can't hear him? Yeah, because I think Larry asked, yeah, can you hear me? And she said, no, I no. can't. <laughs> no, I can't hear you. And then he said something like, if you want to hear me, put the mic on. And she Wait put a the minute. mic on. <laughs> I no, think I the headphones. <laughs> yeah. Right, thanks. Oh, fucking publicist. Oh, aren't they the nice worst? Standards. The fucking worst. Yeah, we got in trouble because we kept a guest in here too long. Who, yeah, Brooke who, Hogan, who was having a good time. Publicist, how does that they make sense? Suck. Just like, uh, yeah. yeah. The longer you stay yeah. in here, the more you get to promote your 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 project. 
How does that make sense? Mm. Would you guys have been okay if Mary Wyland had come in here yesterday and said she couldn't talk about Scott Wyland or doing drugs? Too? Yeah, yeah, that would have been good. Be cool, okay, right? what, I would, well, I would have smeared those chocolate candies right in her face. <laughs> <laughs> or if Belladonna wouldn't talk about porn yeah. or allow dirty language. Uh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, you know the agreement we had beforehand, no talking about uh, pornography. I'm calling it. This is Harsh Friday. <laughs> Everything has to be a little harsher today, boys. Let's go. Let's go to Maurice. Maurice? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Maurice. Hey, um, a couple of days ago, she was on The View. Uh, excuse me for uh, watching The View. But uh, she was on The View, and she Second. went at it with uh, Joy, Joy Behar. And uh, she was really going at it. Saying, uh, we can't talk about this. We can't talk about this. And but, Joy's like, well, you put it in your book. You put it in your book. Yeah. And this is the same exact thing. What the, the fuck? The, this, is, this is what's so strange about that. The only reason everyone is having her on is because of all this controversy that happened to her. Yeah. If she's just a regular, you know, hot bra that won some pageant or was in a pageant, no one's going to have her on. Could, could we, is a there a there. synopsis of the book? Is there like some kind of synopsis oh. about the book? Because I want to know, no. if she's not talking about that or, or any other shit what the fuck is in this book she's probably had an exciting 22 years of life yeah she said i've had a lot of things a lot of accomplishments i've accomplished a lot still standing still standing that's right it's you can't knock her down at 22 yeah. shut up you you cover 22 you don't even know Adult. what the fuck's going on should yet. be kneeling is what it should be called <laughs> <laughs> oh oh look at she's got the the uh the look to the future gaze above yes. the camera yes. she's looking off into our future uh jim she's not done yet no. The untold story <laughs> of my fight against gossip, hate, and political attacks. Because she won't what? talk about it. Because she won't <laughs> talk <laughs> about it. Yeah. To a huge audience. Holy mother Because you can even Christ. talk about it, uh, uh, stuff that's not in the book. I hope nobody buys this fucking book. <laughs> I hope that Larry King interview heard her sales. It had to. Because uh, yeah. she yeah. came off as completely unrevealing. Uh, unfortunately, it'll do well the first week or two. Uh, you know how that shit works. Who's doing her book? Are we fine? We should just, well, not that we'll get her in, but... You just throw the name of a book on TV and everyone just goes and buys it for some reason. Especially uh, with Amazon. And right there, they fucking just click and order it. It's amazing how, how dumb this society is. None of us, and I mean none of us, um, me included, we just don't do our research on stuff. Small percentage of people do. Yeah. We're Fuck just it. lemmings. Oh, oh, okay. So like a back, book. a back cover kind of a... a Thing that just kind of says what the fuck, fuck this asshole. Would it be great is? if the back cover was a picture out of that porn video? <laughs> now that would be good. Probably the cute. When the con when the uh, controversy hit, we were all uh, on her side because yeah. we thought yeah. she answered honestly. She uh, turned it I, around and made us hate her. Yeah, we didn't a really hot chick. We didn't turn it around. A we hot conservative chick. Yeah. I don't think we agreed with her answer. I didn't agree with her answer. Right, yeah. Did you? Aunt? No. No, I agreed with the fact that I can look at her answer and say, yeah, that's fine for her to say that. Yeah. I no, don't give we, a shit. We defended, you know. Two that she, Moes want to fucking marry? Why, what, what am I? She was asked and she gave an honest answer. We, that liked, we liked that about her. Yeah. We thought Perez Hilton was the dick Perez in Hilton's that Perez Hilton's an asshole for... Uh, but for, now she's a, just a... T yeah. What? Oh, wait, it's Harsh Friday. She's a cunt. Yeah. Oh, wow. Harsh Friday. Wow. Harsh Friday. Get a fucking sweeper, please. Where's D-Boy today? Oh, Is he obsessing about Lion's Gate, or could we get a Harsh Lions Friday Gate sweeper movie. today? She's face down in the production studio. <laughs> to your Lion's Gate. <laughs> you yes. suck. Oh, really? Her book is uh, number 665. Oh. 665. When's it due out next Tuesday? No, oh, it came out Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, good. November She's 9th. not Whoops. even doing well. Whoopsie. Yeah, but this uh, video is being played everywhere. That, so. It makes her look terrible. It makes her look terrible. I'm hoping. Let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's uh, pay close attention to this, see how much this moves up. It's going to move up a little bit. You makes know it that. look like she's not going to be honest in the book. Yeah, and it makes her look like a snot who has nothing to say. It doesn't make it like if she had gone after Larry King for a legitimate reason, yeah. like if they had gone back and forth on her answer, or right. if she had gone after a caller about her gay uh, marriage answer. But no, the publicist told you, you can't you can't take fucking phone calls, you yeah. coward. And um, uh, Larry's not to take any phone. Call. I could see the fucking publicist talking to the fucking producer. And um, Larry is not to go to the phones while she is there. We do not want any phone calls. <gasps> yes. Okay. I'll tell, <laughs> I'll tell Larry right away. Yes. I forgot. Well, publicist. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not a Monday when I'm when I'm relaxing. <laughs> I'm a man of leisure. <laughs> leisure. <laughs> publicists are another cancer in this business. We oh, talk yes, about the yes. lawyers, but the publicists are right up there. Yes, yeah. they are. You know, we these companies, these media companies, got to start pushing back because the publicists 
what they do is they go, look, you know, if you don't follow the rules with this broad, you know, you know who else we represent. They're not going to be coming yep. on your show, Larry. So they put the pressure on Larry, and that's why you see Larry groveling. And let me tell you something else. The only thing a publicist will tell you not to talk about is the thing everyone wants to hear about. Correct the mundo. Uh, so, you know, let, let the person being interviewed... Um, decide or let the show actually decide too if that's appropriate. Like there are certain things I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it just for shock value. You're gonna have somebody that's nice and shit come in and sit down and dredge up some old fucking crap about them. If they want to talk about it, fine. If not, you know, whatever. Like if she had just said, uh, look. Let's just say this. I wanted it to be over. Uh, uh, I can't go into details, that even though I'd love to. would have the whole thing. Larry yeah. would have been satisfied with the answer. Yeah. Move on. What's your book about? She uh, hold, holds it up. I hope it sells eight copies. Oh, yeah, she held it up. That fuck it. Yeah, yeah, thank God you brought out that nice, annoying cover, too, because I, <laughs> I, I didn't notice how she was looking off into the future. Looking off into the... Almost All like, legal. what's ahead for me now? Yeah, I don't Ugh. know. I'm so, I, I have such an exciting life. I, there's so much there to... Shut it. Hopefully, right off a of camera view is <laughs> Lexington Steel with his dick out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope fucking Lexington Steel has his dick out and a fucking... <laughs> There's a picture of Steve with a giant sandwich <laughs> in front of him, and he's very happy. Yes. yes. <laughs> Can we uh, start a promotion where our listeners just randomly rip pages out of the book? Why? At Barnes and Nobles all me. over the country. Huh? Why didn't no. anyone tell me why? I couldn't we'll take Clive over that? Yeah, no, that's definitely be in trouble. Be I, I was just asking. I don't know. We can't. No. No. Right. no. The answer is no. All right. No. And that's, uh, Unless they uh, buy the book first. 